Hi everybody, welcome back to Smurfate 718. I'm Maria. I'm Emery. I'm Chris. And we are back and we're going to talk about Veronica. It's a 2017 horror film by Paco Plaza. It's a movie loosely based on true events that happened in Spain. And it happened in 1991 to Estefania Gutierrez Lázaro. Uh, this is a young lady that mysteriously died after playing with a Ouija board. So the story is basically about uh, a single mom and her four kids, Veronica, 15 years old, uh, twin daughters, uh, what were the names? Lucia and Irene. Yes, Irene. Lucia and Irene, and baby brother Antonito. So in this movie, they're preparing for the solar eclipse. Everybody in the class and in the school is extremely excited about it. And at recess, and Diana, Rosa, and Veronica, they're all friends, decide to sneak down to the cellar or the basement of the school to play with the Ouija board to contact her dead boyfriend who died in a car crash. Mm -hmm. And Ver Veronica wants to use the Ouija board to contact her dead father. Yes. Yes. He just recently passed. Um, they seem to have been a very close-knit family. And um, she was really, really, really just missing him so bad. And she just wanted to contact her dad. Unfortunately, uh, they do the seance with the Ouija board um, in the basement of her school. It's basically secluded. There's no one around. And it everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. Unfortunately, the one that ended up with the worst end of the stick was Veronica. This evil entity attached itself to her, and it just wreaks havoc on her life from that point on. Yes. On the days following their seance, uh, Veronica is constantly being haunted by this evil entity in her apartment, constantly giving her nightmares. Yeah, this evil entity just completely wreaks havoc. Um, dark figures are constantly in her house now, uh, and it's just, it's horrifying. I mean, she's, she actually talks to a blind nun at the school, and the blind nun knows what she did, and she scolds her for having done something so dangerous. And she does tell her, listen, when you guys did the seance with the Ouija board, uh, you opened the door and you allowed something evil to come in. And because of that, it's attached to you, and now you have to right the wrong that you did. So, basically, she has to get her friends to go back to the cellar or the basement, redo the seance, and close the door properly by saying goodbye. She really had no professional help, so it was all on her own. This was a persistent demon indeed. <laughs> yes, yes. And she had, um, at one point, uh, her little brother was actually sitting on the floor and he was reading, uh, well, he, was, he had a, a nursery rhyme book on the floor. And so she's kind of scolding him like, oh, you know, uh, why are you taking this book? You can't really, you, don't, you can't read. He's a baby. I think he's like four or five. Um, so don't mess with the book. And he just, you know, calmly tells her, oh, no, it's okay. Dad was reading me the book a little while ago. And she's just <laughs> like, huh? Dad was reading you the book? Uh, what do you mean? And he said, yeah, Dad said that he's going to come back tonight and he's going to take me with him. We all know that Dad is recently yes. deceased. So whatever showed up was not Dad. Some of the detectives were scarred so badly by that experience that they left <laughs> Who would it be? Yes. Some just left for two weeks, but the main detective that actually was in the movie. The family was left utterly heartbroken by this tragic event as well. It, it, it's tragic, and it's a situation that could happen in any household, in any country, anywhere. And it, like I said, it's loosely based on true events. Um, this poor young lady, she did the same thing. She played with a Ouija board. Um, who knows if those details that they showed in the movie are actually the same things that occurred to her. But the fact is that Estefania did die mysteriously after using a Ouija board. So I'm sure, you know, these movie houses embellish in any which way they can. But it's, it's, it's horrible. But listen, um, again, it is a movie. 
It's a great movie. Fantastic. I advise you check it out. I know it's playing on Netflix now, so if you can still catch it until they take it off, I don't know how long it'll be on there. Check it out. Find it. Watch it. Always remember, ambiance is important. Yes. Turn, Turn the lights, lights off. Let the kitties go to sleep. <laughs> Or if they're resilient, then no, you can, you know, they can handle it, then yes. keep them up. But I warn you, I warn you, don't say I didn't warn you. Not all of them. A lot of craziness going on it. there. And uh, they're going to be terrified. You're going to be terrified. And you may need a chaperone to take it to the bathroom. But again, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe. Uh, like. Like. Um, send us a message, let us know what other movies you want us to check out. Uh, we are not only going to do horror, I mean we're starting with horror because we are big horror freaks. But um, yeah, we're, we, we do not discriminate. We will watch anything and we'll give you our thoughts on it. Yes. Alright, with that note, how many thumbs up do you give that movie? I give two. I give five. Mm. I really liked it. Yes. Really have five. Yes. All right, five fingers. Five fingers. Thumbs up, fingers. Here. Five fingers. Thumbs up All right, here. guys, five everybody, fingers. again, thank you for watching us. <laughs> we look forward to hearing from you. Love you all. Peace. Love Be you, bye bye. Be awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't touch me. I hate you.